Hi everyone, and welcome to our online story time. My name is Jess. Today we have a fabulous Christmas story called The Christmas Garden. This book is written by Caroline Thuy and Sandra Severini. It's also published by Little Pink Dog Books. Let's have a look. The Christmas Garden. There's a garden across from my house that's sublime, as it looks like it's Christmas there all of the time. There are breathtaking pine trees, bushy and green, that are all laden with pine cones, the largest I've ever seen. There's a seat on the lawn that resembles a sleigh. It's just waiting for reindeer to pull it away. There are statues of angels that look to the sky, their wings stretched out ready to go for a fly. Then peeking round flowers, quite pleased with themselves, are colorful gnomes that could pass for the elves. This garden belongs to a fellow called Dawes, who remarkably looked like the real Santa Claus. He is jolly and round, with a beard snowy white, and he works in his workshop into the night. Each December he puts on a Christmas display that brings people to visit from far and away. On the pine trees are baubles and trinkets and snow. There is tinsel and shimmers from lights all aglow. Hitched up to the sleigh is a proud reindeer team, with Rudolph out the front, his nose all agleam. Can you see his red nose? The angels have songbooks of carols and hymns, while the elves have their hats, each with wintry trims. Now lean over close and I'll whisper you a secret that's known but to only a few. A tale so amazing you may not believe that magic takes place there on each Christmas Eve. When darkness has fallen and shadows are deep, the elves on their reindeer awake from their sleep. The angels fly skywards and scattering gold transform that old seat into a sleigh to behold. Wow, very magical. There's a sack overflowing with bright shiny toys, the gift on the list of the good girls and boys. Mr. Dawes dressed up in red, then strides to his sleigh, quickly takes up the reins and flies quietly away. It is just as the, as the sun starts to rise Christmas morn that the reindeer land silently down on the lawn. In the instant they do, things are back to how they were, except old Dawes, who is still dressed in fur. And he's done every year for a long while. He looks to my window and gives me a smile. I return with a wave as he knows that's the way. I acknowledge the wonder he shares Christmas Day. And that's the end of the story. This is our last story time for the year. Thank you for joining us throughout our story time online. We hope to see you again next year. Bye everyone. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.